Hello, in this lesson we're going to derive and use the formula from a written description. We we'll begin with this one. We have w equals 5 times the number x. So w is equal to 5 times the number x, 5 times x. But in algebra, we don't write the time symbol because we can confuse it with the x. So w is equal to 5x. So we can call this an a, and this one is also a. For the next one, the sum of w and x. So w and x, this is the sum, times r. So all of this is multiplied by r. So we can put this in brackets and put r on the outside. And this means r multiplied by x, w add x. And that is equal to 5. But like I just said, we don't include the time symbol. So we have r lots of w plus x is equal to 5. So this one would match with this one. And next we have the sum of x and w. So x add w is equal to r. Call this one c and that would also match with this one here. Moving on, the difference. Now difference means subtraction. As sum means addition, difference means subtraction. So a difference between 7 and x, so 7 take away x is w is equal to w. We call this one d, and that one would match with this one. 5 multiplied by the sum of r and x. So r and x is r add x, and it is 5 multiplied by that. So we can put that in brackets, and that is the same as or equal to w. Call this one e, and this one will match. And finally, x is the product. Now product in maths means multiply. So x is the product of 5 and w. So x is x equals the product of 5 and w, 5 times w. So x is equal to 5w. Call this one F and this one F. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful.